List boxes are another great tool for creating dashboards. The list box controls allows the user to select from a list of predefined choices. When an item from the list box control is selected, an action is taken with that selection. In this video tutorial, we're going to create a list box of countries to control two charts, sales, and net sales. We'll use three worksheets. The data with sales and net sales for each country in each month. The analysis worksheet that'll help us create our interactive charts. And finally, the presentation sheet, which is our storefront. We're also going to use two functions, index and column. I'll show you all the steps in detail, so don't worry if it sounds complex to you right now. Keep in mind that one of the key concepts of the data model is the organization of data into three layers, data, analysis, and presentation. Okay, go to the presentation sheet and let's get started. From developer tab, insert button, click list box and draw it somewhere here. Right click and choose format control. The input range is going to be on our data sheet from B3 to B14. It's the cell range with countries. The cell link will be on our analysis sheet, cell A2. Check 3D shading and OK. If you want to try it, go to this sheet, select the third country, and from the analysis sheet, see the number 3. We're going to use the index function. Index returns a value of a reference to a value within a table or range. Highlight B2 cell and type in equal index parenthesis. The array is the cell range with the countries, so go to the data sheet and select B3 to B14. For row number, highlight A2 cell from the analysis worksheet. We don't need to insert a column number, so close the parenthesis and enter. The formula returns the name of the country based on our selection from our presentation worksheet. Select, for example, the USA, which is the seventh item on the list, and see the results. Now we are ready to insert the formula for January sales. Type, equal, index, and now we are going to select all the sales data from C3 to N14 with absolute reference. We use absolute reference because later we're going to copy the formula to the right until the last month. For row number, highlight again the A2 cell from the analysis worksheet, because now our data range covers more than one column and we have to use the column function. The column function returns the column number of the given cell reference. Select C2 cell, but we want to write it as a range, so type C2 to C2 and find the first reference. As we are going to copy the formula, it will change only the second reference. Close parenthesis and enter. It returns this amount, which is correct if we check it from the datasheet. Copy it to the right and check again the amounts. Great, they are all correct. We managed to create the data that we need to make our chart. So highlight the cell range B2 to N3, and from the Insert tab, choose Clustered Column Chart. Right-click on it and select Move Chart. We want the chart to be placed in the Presentation Worksheet. OK, move it somewhere there. And let's change the country from the list box. It works fine as you can see. We will follow the same steps to create a second chart for net sales this time. Let's make it very quick to not waste time.
So we learned list boxes, a great tool for dashboards. 